Good morning, and here we are, still in Hong Kong. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the room I've been staying in whilst I've been staying here. Now, I'm in an area of Hong Kong called Jordan. I'm here right now on what's called Nanking Street. And we're right by Jordan MTR on the Kowloon side. And if I can just show you a little bit of the road, this is the famous road of Hong Kong. This is Nathan Road. So as you go down this road, it takes you towards Chim Sa Choi and to the harbor with a spectacular view. And this way takes you towards Mong Kok. Jordan is a very, very famous area. There's a lot of restaurants here, a lot of things to do on a, well, on a daytime and on the evening. Jordan is especially famous because Jordan is where you have Temple Street Night Market. Now, I'm staying in this building here. So there's no glitz, there's no glamour. It's an Airbnb, it's good value, it's small, but everywhere in Hong Kong is small. Unless you're staying in a big hotel suite, chances are your room is gonna be small. I'm gonna take you upstairs and give you a little tour of where I've been staying whilst I've been in Hong Kong. Now, my Airbnb is called Airy Stay. I think it's Airy Stay or Airy Stary. We'll check when we get upstairs. But if you look at the hotel in the same building, there is a hotel here called Come Long. I'm actually glad I'm not staying there. So here we are. This is my entrance. Now, I know this may not be very glamorous, but this is typical in Hong Kong. A lot of buildings look like this, if not all, unless you're in some of the uh, more posher, newer districts. But this is Kowloon. This is the hardcore side. This is the real side of Hong Kong. This is the local side. So we're not on the island. We're on, on the Kowloon side, the mainland side. Now, this is a typical, so 10th floor. This is a typical Hong Kong elevator. I guarantee you, all elevators in Hong Kong have the same exact smell. It's this really old musky smell. Actually kind of has a lot of fragrance of, imagine Nigerian food, Indian food, all these different cuisines, Chinese food, and it all kind of seems to get captured within the elevators. And these elevators bring back so many memories for me. And to be honest, I actually kind of like the smell. It's For me, it's not a terrible smell, but this is 100% a real Hong Kong elevator. So here we are on the 10th floor. So, okay, Airy Stay is the name. I booked this, um, Airbnb on Airbnb. I'll let you know the price and everything. So you have your rooms here. A very appropriate picture there. And this is my room. Now, it's a very, very small room, but I have to say by Hong Kong standards, this is actually quite a spacious room. Believe it or not, this room is not that small by Hong Kong standards. One of the reasons I really, really wanted this room was because it actually has a window. If you're staying, if you're staying somewhere like Chunking Mansions or Murado Mansions where you can get a little bit cheaper, room sizes are probably a little bit smaller than this, but you don't get a window. And for me, I was gonna be here, well, I've been here 10 days, so I didn't wanna have a room that was completely, you know, suffocating. So I really did wanna have a window. The view, unfortunately, doesn't lead out too much, as you can see. 
not a lot going on out there. And here, I have my bathroom, which is quite a nice bathroom. The shower is on the side here. So it's a shower and toilet all in one, but it's nice, it's tiled nicely. The room's been painted nicely. Been keeping my bags in the corner there, as you can see. There's a kettle, a single cup. Um, I haven't used that since I've been here. But yeah, this has been the room. Now I'm gonna put down in the description the details for this Airbnb. This cost around, it was around 60 euros, 60 US dollars, between 60 and 65 euros, US dollars per night you can get a lot cheaper. Again, when you stay in Mirador Mansions or Chunking Mansions, which is not far from here, one thing people don't realize is the elevator system there. It's very difficult. You can literally wait an hour and a long line just to use the elevator. I've had no problems here. I just pop onto the elevator downstairs and come straight up. The MTR, which is the underground metro system, I mean, it's there everywhere, everywhere in Hong Kong. But of course, right down from the building, I have several MTR entrances. So in the mornings, I just jump in the MTR or I just walk to the waterfront to Victoria Harbor. There's a Starbucks there. I've been sitting down at every morning, having a coffee, looking at the view, um, watching the mainland Chinese people strike a pose and taking a photograph with Bruce Lee, the statue of Bruce Lee. But for me, this 10 days is a long time in Hong Kong and this room per se yeah maybe i couldn't have stayed here too much longer but for my trip and as i say a lot of people coming here won't be staying for 10 days most people are staying for just a few days and if you are staying for just a few days this room has been for me perfect for 10 days and if you're staying here for a few days only then this room is absolutely perfect i mean the beds whilst a little bit hard still comfortable and for me I actually like the the way the mattress is everyone's gonna have different views on how they want their mattress the response with the owner of this place has been very nice whenever I've asked him to change the bed or to clean the room it's all been done immediately um, the, actually one of the things I liked about this Airbnb is he actually sent through an itinerary of things to see and do whilst in Hong Kong which I thought was fantastic. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick little video about what an Airbnb slash guest house looks like in Hong Kong. If you were a couple, maybe you'd want to take the option of a bigger room. Now, I'm gonna pack my bags. It's time for me to go to the airport, onwards and upwards to the next destination. Thank you very much. This is Rick Meets World. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot, all the best. It's Hong Kong, baby, yeah.